definition simple, not so hard to comprehend for those who live in it continue to pretend as if this is the way it's supposed to be, like we belong to its treachery. But its immortality has nothing to do with you and me, but everything to do with what we cannot see. Let me be honest and say it has not always been this way. Its infestation starts soon after the beginning of time. Its infectious infection spreads with every rhyme. Darkness has manifested itself in this world and tries to convince us that there is no other way. It says that night is here and there will never be another day. But before darkness was here, there was once no such thing as a tear. It was once beautiful from the birds to the air to the way life went on without a care. But then darkness crept in, all because one chose to sin. Death fed, darkness spread until it became the world we now know. But as the world became sicker, there was a flicker. Hope in the distance, a strong resistance, a beautiful, elegant light willing to fight. The power that was in it showed that only one could have sent it. As the light grew near, the darkness began to tremble with fear. Then came the drums of war, the tension was tore, as over the hill the light began to pour. Lightning struck, the darkness was stuck, the darkness tried to flee, but it quickly found out there was nowhere the light couldn't see. And then the light reached out and pulled it out of us, because the darkness truly dwells inside of all of us. So now, don't you see, the true enemy is the inner me. It's that voice inside of me saying my continuous praying only hits the roof and on the ground it is laying. But it's the light that cries out and continues to shout that God loves me, all of me, despite my most treacherous treachery. The darkness says I should run from the light, give into the fright, give into my fright and flee into the night. But the light has ripped the darkness from me. In the absence of darkness, there's only one thing that can truly be. So now light in its entirety is what is now inside of me. And I have learned to love this beautiful thing, so I will choose to sing praise be to the king. Because now the darkness cries out as it dies out, its dead corpse lies out, dries out, baking in the sun. Proof the light has truly won.